Welcome to the upgraded preview video. I have some timestamps on the screen. Don't skip the video because we're going to be talking about what the system actually does, what it's capable of and what will be the common issues that you might face throughout the series. So first, let's talk about what this system actually has. Uh, we are going to uh, integrate a custom character to this. Uh, it's going to have some animations, jumping animations. Uh, they're going to change depending on what type of a weapon we are holding. So let me show you that real quick. So now if we equip a battle axe, it's, it's just a regular animation. We can hold two melee weapons at the same time in our hand. Um, and then if we, if we drag and drop the item anywhere on the screen, it gets dropped. Also, we can uh, add a rifle which has this kind of an animation. Then uh, the sniper rifle has the same one. Pistol has a different one. Also, when we aim, we have a different animation as well. So whenever we hold the right mouse button. Also, if we pick up some ammo, I hope this is the correct one. No, this is the sniper ammo. Let's pick up all of it. So we can reload. Right now, I don't have an animation for it. I'm going to add it in the future. And once we reload, we can shoot. We, can, we have a sound. We can damage this cube right here and we can damage all the other characters as well. I'm not currently showing it, but all of this is um, multi multiplayer replicated. So we can interact interact with other characters, we can shoot them, do damage to them, uh, everything is fully uh, replicated, so I believe this system is actually pretty cool. So also we have a backpack and once we equip a backpack, uh, we give the priority to adding items to the backpack first and then they go to the player slots. Um, we have some player slots that are with the character constantly and if we, let's say we pick up a vest, I've created a system that we can add extra slots for specific equipment pieces. So if I equip a vest, you can see I have two new player slots. So a few more demonstrations. Also, we have a max stack size, so we can only stack three of the medical boxes at the same time in one slot. Um, obviously, for every item, you can select whether it is stackable or if it's not stackable and also how many items uh, you want to have per stack. Also, if you would hold control down and move the item, you can select the amount that you want to move. So let's say I want to move two items. So click yes, it moves two items. If I just drag and drop, it moves just one item at a time. Also, the player slots and backpack works a little bit differently. This is a tutorial, so I'm showing you multiple ways of how doing these things. Um, so the player slots are every single slot can be uh, moved around so you can move the items around between the slots you can split them but in the inventory backpack itself uh, the items don't get moved uh, to a specific slot they just stack up and they take the first uh, location that they might have obviously you can configure this to work exactly the same way by using the player functions inside of the backpack um, also let's see we we can drag items on top of our preview of character and it instantly consumes them look at the health bar at the top once I uh, use the medical box it restores my health also we can move that into a quick slot then click one and as you can see it restored my health as well also we have a very basic crafting system at first it's uh, it's not the greatest because it will at the beginning it's going to use only the backpack slots in the video six but later on we create some improvements so that it would look for items throughout the whole uh, throughout the whole character so we can click on crafting and here is the selection for the crafting it shows what kind of items what item we can craft and what items are needed and uh, also what is the amount that is needed to create that item also we have a chest which can in which we can obviously store some items we have an npc shop so at the uh, left bottom we can see the money so we can try to sell some items i believe this one doesn't have any value i didn't put but the weapons and the equipment has some value on them yeah so we can sell the items for some money uh, obviously we can then buy them back also like i mentioned it's fully replicated so other characters come can come back and buy those items uh, from the shop we also have some loot chests which drop some random loot so in the short term, that's pretty much it. There are many, many different functionalities. We have around 40 videos in this series where we create all of these functionalities. We have the quick slot bar, like you see. We create the character preview of all the equipment stuff, all kinds of cool things. And if you have any issues throughout the these series when you are following them, make sure to join my Discord where you can ask for help in the help section. Uh, we All of us are glad to help you to sort these issues out so that we can grow together and get better together. Now let's talk about some common issues. I didn't really plan ahead too much when I was starting to make these series. So I've made a couple of tiny mistakes throughout the way. Obviously, I have talked about them throughout the series. So at some point I mentioned these things, but 
I didn't do that at first uh, because I really, like I mentioned, I didn't plan on having these series so long, but people kept asking me for more and more improvements. So I just, I, I basically gave them what they want. So some of the issues from the basically first video, I believe, um, I didn't add a default amount for the item. So whenever we drag in the pickup master, there it is, pickup master, by default, it has the amount at zero. Uh, make sure you change the amount otherwise if the amount is zero it's not going to pick up the item they're going to just disappear it's not going to be stackable it's it's basically not going to work if you don't have any amount in it to set this amount to be one by default what you want to do is open up your pickup master select your item variable and then uh, i need to recompile this and then you can set the amount to be one over here i left it at zero but change this to one and then every time you drag an item into the world it's going to have an amount of one obviously you can have like 10 20 50 or whatever i have in my ammo boxes i believe i have an amount is 99 yeah exactly and it works the way it should we are picking up 99 bullets with one pickup also a big issue the item structure tends to crash um let's see if we can replicate this i believe it is working just fine now yeah the tooltip is working fine it shows me that it is an empty slot but sometimes it's not going to show anything it's just going to be a white line also when you package the game it might give you a structure error it's going to tell you which structure it is from what i've noticed mostly it is the pickup master tends to crash and the ui let's say like player slots item data the things that contain that structure tend to crash what you want to do is um so let's open this up. Let's open up our item data and we have our get tooltip widget binding, which is added, I believe, to the bottom border. If we scroll down, we have the tooltip binding. So get tooltip widget. And if you would hover over this input right now, it says item data as inventory structure. When it breaks, it usually says fallback structure or something along those lines. So there are a few ways how you could fix this. First would be right clicking this node and clicking on the refresh nodes, and then it should fix this. If it doesn't, then what you want to do is disconnect this, compile it, then you want to open up your item tooltip. So this is the one, open it up. Just simply don't, you don't really have to change anything. Just recompile and save this, close it back up, go back to the item data and reconnect the pin compile it once more and then this should be fixed basically the same same thing applies for the uh, pickup master just recompile it save it and it's going to work fine it would have crashed for me if i would have packaged this now because previously you noticed i had to recompile to get these values because they didn't show up and this issue happens because we are adding more and more information to our structure so it doesn't fully uh, re recompile the whole project once we add those I wasn't aware of uh, aware of this issue when I started with these series and along the way well these issues happened and obviously the more functionality we add the more issues we get. So that is one of the most common issues. Other common issues is obviously <laughs> happens to me all the time. Uh, sometimes people forget to connect just very simple pens so whenever you have some issues screenshot what you were working on send those screenshots inside of the help section in the discord and we will be tr trying to help you as good as we can and the last thing that I want to mention is that it's actually quite simple to uh, basically adjust this system to whatever you want. Obviously, I can't create an inventory system that is going to work exactly like you want it for every single game. So you might want to have a list system or you might have, I don't know, whatever different system. It's actually pretty simple to configure this. Uh, as long as you have the base functionality of like adding items, moving items, um, removing items and all that stuff, it's actually pretty simple to modify this and if you need some pointers on that one you can obviously join the discord and ask for that over there and that's basically it so see you guys in the next videos and keep developing